So it's ready. Pepper soup is ready. Catfish pepper soup is ready. So I'm switching it off now. to be making catfish so in this bowl you have some catfish which has been washed twice so i'm gonna wash it again i already put some salt and lemon on it so i'm just gonna wash it again one more time to remove all this catfish it has slime on it so when you wash it properly you remove all the slime now I'm going to put some lemon, lemon juice, and salt. And salt. I'm going to let that soak for about 10 minutes 20 minutes at the most so the salt and lemon can do its work and then i'll throw the water away and put some clean water and then we'll be ready to make this catfish pepper soup the fish has been soaking for 20 minutes i'm gonna wash it out and put in this bowl I'm gonna give it one final ring to remove all the lemon taste. So the fish is clean, so I'm ready to cook this catfish pepper soup. Now I am transferring the fish back into this bowl. So now I'm going to wash my sink because fish has a smell, fishy smell. So I'm going to put some lemon on my sponge to remove the smell. my own hand. And that's it, it's done. So we're ready to cook this fish pepper soup. So now. guys, in front of you here, you have the African nutmeg, as it's called, or calabash nutmeg. That's what I'm going to be using, that's pepper soup spice. And this is, I think it's called grains of salem. I'm not sure if I'm right, but it's one of the pepper soup spices. So I'm going to be putting these two in my blender. I'm putting the onions. I have some red onion here that I chopped. 
and I'm putting three scotch bonnets of atarojo pepe and then also I'm going to be adding some oregano I like to experiment with different um, flavors to see because sometimes you cannot just do the ordinary because that's boring so you need to change the narrative sometimes so I'm using a tablespoon of oregano dried oregano if you don't have the dried by all means you can use the um fresh one so i'm adding some water and i'm going to blend it so the onions has been blend the mixture has been blended so what you have here is red onion the two scotch the three scotch bonnet peppers a bit of our dried oregano and the pepper soup spices for the fish i'm going to put some fish seasoning half of the thing i'm going to put some fish seasoning and a tiny water and let it steam in the microwave for three minutes so it can infuse before I start cook, using it to cook. As you can see, I've steamed the fish for three minutes in the microwave so that all the fish seasoning can go in. So now I'm ready to cook. I'm also going to be using mint. This is fresh mint and two Maggi cubes. This pot you have the pepper soup mix uh, spices that I blended with the onions and the scotch bonnet pepper and the oregano leaves. So I'm going to leave that to boil for five minutes. So the pepper soup spices oh, is boiling. So now I'm adding my fish. Adding two spoons of crayfish. I'm adding the maggi cubes. I'm also adding water. And then I'm adding salt. To let that boil up. If it was meat, pepper soup, or chicken, I'll have put that in by now. But because it's fish, I can't risk it. If I put the fish, you won't see the fish, it all scatter. So I don't want that. So I'll leave this to boil up and infuse, then I'll put the fish. My boil. So I'm going to add the last I'm going to add is a bit of complete seasoning. So I want this pepper soup to have a lot of nice taste. So now I'm ready to introduce the fish. I have to use my hand. My hand is clean. I've washed my hand. Because if I use a spoon, I'm just scared that it will scatter. So the fish was steaming. I put it to steam in the microwave for three minutes with some fish seasoning. So now that it is steam, so the because I don't want the fish to taste bland. Remember that I I had to boil the pepper soup spice a bit so it can infuse before introducing the fish. So now I'm just gonna leave it to boil for about three minutes, and I'll add my parsley, which I've already chopped. So I'm going to add my parsley which is chopped 
and that's it to be ready if we we're going to eat it with pounded yam then i will have need i will have thickened it a bit i made some pounded yam and dropped it into thickening but because we're just going to be drinking it there's no need to thicken it that's going to take this meal this soup up a notch i'm going to take it to a different level altogether I don't want to really mix this fish. I'm going to leave it for those. So I have added the scent leaves. So I'm going to leave that to do its thing. I'm going to leave that to boil for two minutes. And I'll be ready to switch it off. Because I don't want the um, mint leaves, fresh mint leaves to be too soft and here is the catfish pepper soup all finished it's a bowl of deliciousness it has pepper soup spice red onion scotch bonnet pepper all purple seasoning fish seasoning mint leaves and a bit of water so guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye